I am Dr. Priyadarshi Ranjan. I am the director of the Comprehensive Transplant Center and chief kidney transplant surgeon at Fortis Hospital, Mohali. My job is to do a kidney transplant in patients who are suffering from kidney failure. We take out a kidney from a healthy live donor and transplant it into the patient of kidney failure. In a kidney transplant, we take out a kidney from a live healthy donor laparoscopically or from a deceased donor or a brain dead donor whose family has agreed to donate the organs and then we put that kidney into a patient of kidney failure. Somebody whose kidneys have failed permanently, they have shrunk in their size and his serum creatinine has gone up more than 5. They are at the verge of kidney failure or already are suffering from kidney failure have, and they have gone on dialysis. These are the patients who require a kidney transplant. The common causes of kidney failure in our country are diabetes, hypertension, glomerulonephritis, kidney stones, kidney infections, kidney inflammations, and polycystic kidney diseases, and some other hereditary disorders, apart from drugs and medicines, uh, such as painkillers, which are an important cause of kidney failure. Any healthy person who is aged between 20 to 60 years, free of all comorbidities such as hypertension or diabetes can be a voluntary kidney donor. Anybody who is a family member, whether it's a parent, children, siblings, spouse, grandparents or grandchildren are legally allowed under the Human Organ Transplant Act of India to donate a kidney to their loved one. The success rate of kidney transplant in today's date is immense. It is close to say 100%. 10 years before the rate of kidney transplant success was more than say 80 to 85%. But in today's date with modern immunosuppression, modern immunosuppression agents, induction agents, modern protocols and very, very refined surgical techniques, the success rate of kidney transplant has gone up to nearly 100%. When a patient develops kidney failure, he has got two options. Either he can go on dialysis or choose a kidney transplant. The patient should always choose an option of kidney transplant over dialysis because simply kidney transplant increases their survival by two folds. So if they receive a kidney transplant rather than a dialysis, they are going to live double what they would have lived when they choose dialysis. The donor surgery is done laparoscopically. So in a laparoscopic surgery, we insert a small camera from the umbilicus, two small little ports, 5 mm or 1 cm in the other parts of abdomen. And the entire dissection of kidney is done laparoscopically. The kidney is taken out by a small 3 to 4 inches incision down in the abdomen, which is below the line of the undergarments. It's a small incision through which the kidney is delivered out and it heals beautifully. There is no pain, there is no scarring, there is no herniation and it is one of the best forms of kidney donation. If someone has a donor within the family but the blood group is not matching, then he has got three options. Either he can opt for a paired kidney exchange program or a swap transplant program in which we can give him a kidney from some other family and take his donor's kidney to donate to some other family. This is called as paired kidney exchange or a swap program. The other option is that we can do an ABO incompatible kidney transplant if the titers are low. We, there are techniques to filter out the antibodies and we can do a transplant across the blood group. And obviously the third option is that he waits on a deceased donor waiting list so that he can receive a kidney of the same blood group when there is some brain dead patient and the patient's family wants to donate the organs. To conduct a kidney transplant, it takes around two to three hours, usually one and a half hours for the donor and one and a half hours for the recipient. 
that is the total time for a transplant and patient starts moving about and starts taking oral sips liquids on the same day after surgery so usually it takes around two to three hours to complete the entire surgery of the donor as well as the recipient the donor and the recipient's health is perfectly all right after a kidney transplant and they are just like a normal uh, individual Every year we organize transplant games for our kidney transplant patients as well as their donors and they participate in those games, play all kinds of sports whether it is athletics, badminton, cricket, all kinds of physical sports they can play. So life after a kidney transplant is truly good. It returns so many factors apart from bone health, anemia, sexual function, normalcy in life. So kidney transplant gives you an extremely pleasant normal life.